Hey guys, it's Hope. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is so exciting. I am doing a collab with one of my friends here on YouTube. Her name is Andrea Lee. That's her channel. And I love her so much. She uploads very consistently. She has very solid reviews. Today we are trying out each other's favorite products. So I have a few that I already owned that I'll be using on my face. And also I went and bought a few products from the drugstore that she talks about a lot and she loves. So I decided to test those out today. And this is the eye look or the makeup look that I came up with. What do you guys think? I'll link her video and her channel down below. She definitely deserves, she's got about 4,000 subscribers. I got about 3,000. So she definitely deserves more than that and I love her. So I will link her channel. Go check her out. Go subscribe to her. Go share her some love. Let her know I sent you. And if you are new from Andrea's channel, I would love to hear from you down in the comments. Yeah, without further ado, let's just hop right into the video and see what products I tried and put on my face and how I got this makeup look. So Andrea has very oily skin and I have normal to dry skin. So we're like complete opposite. So it was kind of hard trying to figure out which foundation and primers to use. And she really likes the L'Oreal Infallible, the new primers, um, like the matte one. And I thought about picking up the dewy one, but then I was like, you know, I have enough dewy primers. And so I just decided I wasn't going to kind of get a primer from her or whatever. But she does mention the NYX pore filler, so I'll use this one because I already own this one. So I'll use this one on my nose and kind of like my T-zone. And then I think I'm going to use the little sample, and I'm almost done with it, the Nivea Post Shave Balm or whatever. I think that's what it's called. Let's use that on the rest of my face. So, yeah, I'm excited because I have like five new products to try from her. So that, of her recommendations and the rest are all ones that I already own. And you guys, I've been trying out this new, um, it's like a brightening... I don't really want to talk about it because I don't have my final thoughts on it yet, but it's a brightening um, product from number seven for my skin, my skincare product, or my skincare routine. And I all of a sudden started breaking out a ton, and I believe it's probably from that because I don't normally break out like this, you know? And that's the only thing that I could think of that would be causing the breakouts right now. So. I'm kind of bummed because I want to try it out, but I don't know. My skin's usually not sensitive or like reacts to things as very much, but so primer is now done. Now the foundation she talks about is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. And I think when I was when I was we were chatting back and forth, we were kind of sending each other our lists. Um, I've changed my list so much from when I first sent it to her. But this, I think I actually called the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. They have a completely different one, the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. Let me show you. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. This is the Superstay Full Coverage. Like, they're two different foundations. Um, I don't know why they would both have them under the Superstay line, because that's really confusing. I have the shade 112 um, Natural Ivory, and that is the color she uses. And I feel like she's around my same shade. And in this one, I have 120 class or 20 Classic Ivory. I don't know why they change them. Classic Ivory, and it's a little too dark for me right now. So hopefully this one matches. I feel like it would be a good match. Just gonna pump. I heard this is a very thick, full coverage. It doesn't really have a preference for like a sponge or a brush. Like I love my L'Oreal sponge. I talk about it in like every video. So. I feel like I should normally try that, but she does do use a brush in her full coverage foundation routine, drugs foundation routine, with this foundation. So I'm gonna do half my face with a brush, half with the beauty blender. Oh my gosh, it's like a perfect match. I really hope that I like this. It looks like it's a nice one. A lot of people I've heard talking about it, and I've just never picked it up. I don't even know how much this was. So it does look like a mattifying, like, boom. there's no dewiness to this right now. Okay, so that's just one coat. I'm just going to do one coat, like I'm putting on nail polish or something, one layer. I'm just going to do the other side with a brush, so I'll be looking down a little bit when I'm doing this video. Um, they pretty much look the same. I don't think one side looks a whole lot better than the other. I'm just going to use a sponge on my whole face now for another layer because I just prefer using my sponge for everything. So I think both sides look pretty much the same. It's got a very pink undertone. I don't think it looks bad. My skin, since it's normal to dry, I usually don't go for a full like mattifying look. So it's a little bit different, but I'll add some different products in here to kind of 
make it look a little better. That's the only hard thing about doing this is because we have completely different skin types, but it's okay. Concealer is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I believe she has a different shade. I have the Neutralizer. She does have, I don't know if she has the Brightener one or which one she has, but I like the Neutralizer. And I'm trying to use mine up. It's literally, it's like basically almost gone. So I just want to use it up. So I'll just use it today. And then, since I don't really have any other concealers for um, like my T-zone or anything, I'm just going to use... This, I don't, I don't own any other ones that she's talked about, I don't think. Um, I have tried, like, the NYX one and stuff that she's talked about, but I don't think she's tried the Catrice one, Liquid Camouflage. I don't know if she has. Um, I'm just going to use the Wet n Wild to highlight a little bit. And I'll put a little bit of Catrice with it. I'm going to throw a little Catrice under my eyes, the Liquid Camouflage, um, just so I have a little bit of a neutral see how like neutral that is it's like almost gray just so it's not too yellow under my eyes since this foundation is kind of pink and i'm just going to use my sponge with that it is um 9 30 on a saturday morning and i would just like to know why am i awake so i mean sunday it's sunday it's not saturday why am i awake so early on a sunday morning filming a video like this is dedication for you guys i am tired like it's been a long weekend. I went on a college tour visit this weekend. So since this is so matte right now for nice liking, I'm just going to use a little bit of my Hard Candy Jeremy Primer Hydrating Primer Mist. Um, I put it in the Smashbox Primer Oil because I like this spray better. I'm just going to wet my brush with this and just pounce it on my face just to get a little bit of dewiness back in my skin because my skin is so... Not so dry, but I don't have oily skin, so I need some moisture back into it. Now that I have all that, I believe she talks about the Maybelline Super Safe Better Skin Powder. And I know she has, like, the um, Physicians Formula Powder and the Milani one. But I just have this one, and I love this one. And I don't need any more mattifying, obviously. So I'm just going to use this one today. I have it in the shade 20 Classic Ivory, and I like this one because it has salicylic acid in it. So if your skin likes salicylic acid... Oh, shoot. I gotta use my liquid highlighter. Okay, I can't put it in my highlighting spots because I'm using that liquid highlighter. Try not to reach those spots. Okay, I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution um, Liquid Highlighter in Champagne, and I believe she has a gold shade. But I have champagne and I like this shade a lot, so I'm just going to use the one I have. It's very pretty. It is a little bit tricky to blend out, though. That's the only thing that I don't like is, like, you really have to work fast. And I don't, I don't know if a sponge really works well for blending. Like, you almost have to just use your fingers. They're not, like, I have a Smashbox stick highlighter that just blends so seamlessly. I mean, it's a stick highlighter, it's not a liquid, but, like, these you do have to work with just a tiny bit to get them to blend. And you can't just, like, put them on there and let them sit there. Like, you gotta blend fast. Unless you want a streak on your face, which I've had multiple times. See how it just gives this nice, pretty, like, dewy look to your skin? I love it. I'm gonna finish setting my face with that Maybelline powder, like, under my eyes and stuff. You guys, I should do, should I do a prom makeup trial look? Because I'm going to prom this year. I think I'm going to move on to my brows first and get those done. And then I'll come back to like face products. So um, she talks about the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. I think she's ash brown. I have medium brown. Medium brown is fine for like this color. But my hair, since I have highlighted and stuff, highlighted it, it <laughs> highlighted it. I dye my hair sometimes. So I do uh, put a wand in my hair a little bit, and so it's a little dark. Like, I don't want my eyebrows to be this dark. So I did, did, ugh. yesterday I did pick up the Maybelline Total Temptations Brow Pencil in Blonde, because I actually do like to use Blonde in my brows sometimes, if I'm feeling they're a little darker to mix it. So I'm probably going to mix these two, just so I don't have too dark of brows. But, yeah, I'm going to use these. I'm going to go off camera, because... I know that it's not really fun to watch somebody do their brows. And I do like this brow pencil, so I'm just letting you know I do like that. And I'll let you know what I think about this one. So I'll be back in a minute. Baby, you 
song. I just realized when I was um, in the middle of doing my brows that that drawer back there was open. <laughs> so I hope that wasn't driving you crazy for the first half of the video because I would it's probably gonna drive me crazy while editing. Did my brows. I did put on the Essence Make Me Brow Gel on top. I think. I don't know if she talks about this one. I feel like she does, but I could be making that up. But anyway, I love that one. So this is how the brows turned out. I used a lot of um, the Maybelline Total Temptation, but I did mix in this. This wet one, one is a very creamy brow pencil, and I do like it. Like I said, the shade is a little too dark for me, so if I use it, I mix it with stuff. And I do really like the shade on this one. Like, it doesn't look like I have blonde. Let me just do a swatch comparison. It's like a little kite shape. It's significantly smaller too, like the packaging. Let me show you. Like the product when I was holding it, it may sound dumb, but I did notice how much smaller this one was than this one. I don't really feel like I shouldn't normally notice that. So it is creamy, but at the same time, it's not too creamy. They are completely different shades. This one is just so gray. The Wet n Wild one, and then this one's more warm tone. She's talked about this Milani eyeshadow primer and that she really likes it. So, Emily Noel 83 talks about this one, and I just have never tried it, and I've been wanting to try it forever, but I just never just do it. I've heard this is a really good eyeshadow primer, and it's like you might as well just buy this one instead of the Urban Decay one, which is like $20, which is insane. I have the Urban Decay one that I got on sale on Black Friday for like nine bucks, and I've had it for a while now. So I probably should get rid of it soon. This is just what it looks like. My eyes kind of have some concealer and foundation on. So they're good there. We'll see. My eyelids are very... I wouldn't say very oily. They used to be more oily, oily than they are, I feel like. Now they're not that bad. But they still get, like, throughout the day if I'm just... Which I feel like is the case for a lot of people. If I'm... Just wearing mascara to school, which is what I do a lot of times, um, and no eyeshadow. I do notice that my eyelids do get oily throughout the day. I have to like go like this to make sure they're not too oily. And I was gonna try the Milani Bold Obsessions eyeshadow palette, but then I was looking at it and I was like, do I really want to spend fifteen dollars when I have a bunch of high-end eyeshadows that I love? And I did see her talk about this Wet n Wild palette in a do comparison to the modern renaissance and she said she liked the mattes in here she wasn't necessarily impressed with the shimmers but the mattes were nice so i think i'm gonna try this out today and i do actually have one of my lovely subscribers you guys the sweetest sent over some color pop things for me to try and she was just like i just want to support you i mean it was the nicest thing ever so I am going to probably put on the shimmery, the Super Shock Shadow in Ladybird, which is a very glitterly, glittery shimmer shade. I cannot talk today. On my lid, because I heard that the, I mean, I'll try these shimmers, but I heard that they aren't very good, and I swatched them already, and I just, I don't know. So, I'm going to start with this warm transition shade. I didn't even try, like, their Walking on Eggshells or any of their old, um, shadows oh i didn't set my eyelid dang it i'm actually gonna set my eye first with this the cream shade i never tried their old packaging ones or before they try or before they came out with these ones so oh shoot i probably should have done my eyeshadow first because these are very powdery you see all that powder everywhere so we're gonna go in with that transition shade in the crease I'm just going to do something simple. I don't really plan on doing anything too crazy because I'm not really going anywhere today. I'm just going to be sitting at home. But they're pigmented. Holy crap. Yeah, I have not tried Wet n Wild. I mean, I have a Wet n Wild single shadow, the one in Brulee for like that cream shade. But I'm not talking about Wet n Wild eyeshadows. Wow, that's a very pretty shade. Now I'm going to go in with the other transition shade up here for a less warm tone. I want a little more cool tone. Wow, I really like these colors. And they are blending so quickly. Oh my gosh. You guys, what our drugstore has just stepped up their game in general. I mean what in world has, but drugstore too. Like I was playing with the CoverGirl palette, you know, in the products I never use video. That CoverGirl palette, I'm not kidding you, like really? The what the CoverGirl True Naked ones? I cannot believe we used to talk about those. Like, this is like 20 times better and I've only used two shades out of this. 
I just cannot believe we used to talk about those shades. I'm going to go in with this red shade right here. They have numbers. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Right here. They don't even have numbers. They have numbers on the back, but I'm not even going to try and confuse you, try and figure that out. So I'm just going to tell you which shade I'm doing. Um, and I'm not like a makeup artist, so you probably don't even want to do the same look that I'm doing anyway. <laughs> How many people actually, like these days, I never just look up a tutorial and just copy a makeup tutorial when I'm doing my makeup, you know? Like I'll look up videos, or like I'll watch videos of people getting ready, but I never usually recreate their looks. I'm gonna pop a little bit of this darker shade um, on the outer portion, just a tiny bit. That's good enough. I'm not doing anything fancy as you can tell. It's a very just, kind of mixed in eyeshadow look. I'm just going to take a clean wet and wild brush and just fluff it. I wanted to try a lot more Flower Beauty, like the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer, but my Walmart didn't have it and I was really irritated. And she also talks about the Flower Beauty Galaxy Glaze Lip Gloss and Sol Soleil. I could not find that either and she raves about that so I was really mad because I really wanted to try that one. I have a different lip product to try, but... Yes, I was a little angry. I'm going to go in with this pink shade because I need a little pop of color in there for to match my lips. There we go. We got a nice warm pink. Cool pink, I mean. They do blend really nicely, though. Holy cow. Maybe just, like, bring it in a little bit. I always laugh when people ask me like how I did my makeup because it's like I don't think I'm not great at makeup so like a lot of times I'll think my eyeshadow looks bad and everybody's like oh I love your eyeshadow and I'm like I don't like it in this video I don't know I feel like you're just so picky with yourself though I know I am yeah pick apart that's not good don't do that now I'm gonna set okay so I thought I was gonna have a lot of fallout but if you tap your brush off, you're fine. Now I'm just going to set my brow bone with that shade again, that original um, cream shade. Two shimmery shades in this palette. This more like golden and this more like purpley. I'm just going to use the golden one. On this part of my, like kind of the inner part of my lid. Okay, I don't think that it's that bad. Um, I personally think that these are better than the Modern Renaissance from Rachel's, actually. So, I don't think this is a bad palette. I feel like I did my eye look really fast, but I do think that this is nice. I do like this, actually, and I don't think the shimmers are that bad. Like, I was expecting them to be worse. <laughs> but I do like those. I am going to throw on this ColourPop shadow on top, though, because I just cannot resist this glitter. Like, can you see that? I've never owned anything from ColourPop, so this is very exciting for me, and this texture of this is so I just can't okay oh whoa that totally changed the eye look holy cow that is very pretty I love that so much thank you for sending that over do you have eyelashes though that I want to try out I don't think she necessarily talks about these she likes this one the um Essence Eye Heart Extreme uh, Volume Mascara in Waterproof. This is not the waterproof one. Essence sent me this actually, so I have been playing around with it a little bit, but um, I will probably use these today, but I'm going to use fake lashes too. This Essence Mascara, I have, I feel like I have tried the volume one, I mean the waterproof one. I don't love this mascara. I don't think it's a bad one though. Like it's not like I hate it, like it's not my least favorite anything. But it's not, like, one that, like, I would go for if I want, like, length, volume, curl, everything. It's in between a natural and an intense lash. You know, it's kind of like a mixture. This is what the wand looks like. I don't know. I expect it to be fluffy and not rubbery. It's got a... Oh, shoot. I already got it on my lid. I don't know why I hate it on this mascara. It's actually not that bad at all. I feel like you do have to work with it a little bit. It does give you a little length and a little curl. Not necessarily a lot of volume. So I am going to try these actually. I tried to put them on yesterday and I was like, I don't know if I like these. These are actually what I might wear for prom. So 
That is why I want to test them out. Did I even tell you these lashes? They're the Ardell Faux Mink Wispies. The Demi Wispies. So they're very fluffy. They're not like individually strand. They're very like fluffy and fluttery. I feel like I just look stupid. Like they're like so long on the outside. And then they get shorter in the middle and they're fluttery, which I like, but I just feel like I look dumb. I don't know. What do you guys think of these? Should I wear these for prom? I ha I can go and buy other ones too, but I just feel like they're not, they're vor they're very straight out. They're not like wispy, like up, which I think they're kind of meant to be a little fluttery and more out instead of up, but do I look dumb in them? I don't know. I'll finish my lower lash line. I had to throw on a little bit of liner just to cover the band and I use the... Um, NYX Epic Ink Liner. Love this liner. I know, uh, I don't know which one Andrea talks about. She does talk about liner. I never wear eyeliner, so I don't ever buy eyeliner, but I love that NYX one. Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer is what I'm going to use just to bronze the face, you guys. She loves this one. I love this one. It's just an awesome bronzer, and mine's like almost gone. I have it in my makeup use of video, so... I'm trying to use it up because it's almost gone and I want to, I'm definitely going to repurchase it, but I want to get a darker shade because, oh, and on Ulta, I saw that they came out with a lot more shades. Um, I do love this bronzer a lot. Like, it's my favorite bronzer. I just want to get a darker shade. I have just the light bronzer. I think I want to get just the bronzer shade, but I believe there's like five different shades now that Ulta came out with, which is very exciting. I'm just going to use it with a smaller tapered brush. And just kind of contour just a little bit just to get a little shadow on my cheeks. I need to fix my eyebrows. I am just roasting right now. I did pick up a Flower Beauty blush. And a lot of people talk about Flower Beauty blushes. This one for sure reminds me of a blush that I have from Milani. Which I will show you in a second. They look. This is the Flower Pots blush and powder blush. And then I have these. This blush is Milani um, Romantic er, Powder Blush and Romantic Rose. They do look, like look at the packaging. The shade of the flower one, that's the Milani one. The flower only has a few options and this is one, I usually go for these more neutral blushes which I think this would go somewhat good with my eye look. I love my eye look today. I don't know why I love it so much, but I do. And I'm not a big blush person. If you watch my channel, you would know I don't love blush. I'll wear a little bit of it, but I'm not one to like my favorite product is blush. And I think Andrea really loves blush. That's really pretty though. It's a really pretty flush of pink on your cheeks. Yes, I really like this one. I believe she talks about this one too. Sweet pea. Okay, and now I have this highlighter. This is the Essence Pure Nude. She talks about this one a lot. I own this one. I've had this one for a while now. I have such a dilemma with this. It's a very pretty, like, highlighter. I almost said blush. It's a very pretty highlighter, but when you look at it, the undertone is so... Can you see how orange and dark the undertone is? So you almost have to have a skin tone that's at least mine and darker. Um, and if you're any fairer than I am, I don't think you would like this because of how deep of an undertone it has, and it'll create a shadow. I can make mine work. In the summer, it for sure works. In the winter, I can make it work. But it's not my favorite highlighter. I mean, it's very pretty. But I don't love it as much just because of the undertone in it. But I did hear they come out with a bunch... They, were, they just came out with a bunch of funky shades. So, I don't know. They're like holographic ones. and I mean, it's pretty. And I like it built up on top of that liquid from Makeup Revolution. And I think it's a very nice... Like sheen like it's not like glittery or like makes it look like you have like a bunch of highlighter on which I like I'm gonna finish my lower lash line here holy fudge I just knocked almost knocked this over start with the transition under my eye and I just threw that pinky shade I'm gonna throw a little bit of the red too just so I pull it all together and then very close up I have a very like tight line brush from Morphe I'm just going to take the very dark one and bring that right along my, my lash line. I don't care how powdery these are. Whoa. I don't care how powdery these are. They are very 
pigmented and they blend so seamlessly that I I don't care how powdery they are. They are amazing. Now I am going to put a little bit of my Wet n Wild Skinny Mascara. I just like this from my lower lash line. Lastly, I'm excited for this product. So, she raves about the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Lip Liquid Lipsticks. This shade looks like it would match, but I was looking at her swatch video. I just picked out a shade that I looked like I would like. And I have a lot of nude lip colors, so I figured, like, you know, I don't want to go too nude because I have a lot of nudes. So I decided to pick up this shade, which is in the shade Dose of Rose. And um, when I was looking at her swatch video after I bought it, it looks a lot pinker. Yeah, it just looks a lot pinker in the swatch than it does in the tube. Maybe not. I don't know. On your lips. So we'll see. I feel like I should line my lips. I'm going to take a lip liner that I have. It's the Essence Lip Liner in Honeyberry. Now we're going to apply it. I like this doe foot. It seems very like flexible and there's like a little opening in the center. Yeah, this shade definitely does not go with my look. Yeah, it's a lot brighter than I would expect. This is mattifying, but like moisturizing, like it's comfortable. I wish I had that Galaxy Glaze lip gloss. I can just spray my face with just some Mario Badescu. I think she got this recently, but I love this stuff. I really enjoyed every product that I tried. Like, I don't think there's one that I was, like, disappointed in. So, Andrea really knows what she's talking about with her products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you came from Andrea's. If you are from my channel, definitely go check out Andrea's. You will really enjoy her. She is amazing. I love her. I watch every single video of hers whenever one comes out. It's, like, one of the first YouTubers I go to to watch her videos. I love her so much. And let me know down in the comments what you think of these eyelashes. Should I wear them for prom? Should I not? How do they look on me? Be honest. I don't care. I would rather have you be honest and tell me no so I don't look like a fool out in public with them on than um, you lying to me and saying they look good when they don't. So go to subscribe to Andrea if you have not already. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!